Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hi, can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi. Okay, so good evening. How are you? Hi, good evening. Okay, so we are going to begin our class right now. Um, well, if you remember, something that we were studying yesterday was about tech support. So today we will continue working on that unit, but at the same time, we are going to study a new grammar topic. And this is about would like, okay? That was an expression that yesterday we were able to see uh, the conversations that we read and practiced. And today we will continue, but we will explain that um, deeply, okay? I remember that the last thing that we were doing yesterday was, well, you were discussing about some tech supports or some common tech issues that you have in your workplace. And at the same time, I remember that you were going to create a conversation. So unfortunately, because of the time, as some of you mentioned, you were not able to complete it. Algunos dijeron que por el tiempo ya no pudieron completar lo que era el último ejercicio, ¿verdad? De las conversaciones. So we are going to try to do it right now. Lo vamos a tratar de hacer ahorita. But it's going to be like this, okay? So if you remember, you wrote um, three items that you usually have problems with. Escribieron tres dispositivos o artículos con los que ustedes tienen problemas, ¿verdad? And I remember that you had the conversation, well, there was a conversation model. So what we are going to do is the following, okay? So one of you is going to be the technician and right now it's going to be me, the one that is going to be asking for help, okay? Uno de ustedes va a ser el técnico y yo voy a estarles pidiendo o que me asesoren con lo que es el soporte técnico. Ok. So, let me see. Do I have a volunteer? Yes. No. Me, teacher. Thank you, Silvia. So, it's me the one that is going to be calling you. So, you need to give me assistance with the problem that I'm having, okay? So let's suppose that I have problems with my cell phone, okay? Supongamos que los problemas que tengo es con el celular, okay? I'll show right now screen about the conversations that we were practicing yesterday. So here it is. Okay, Silvia. Okay. Okay. Um, good morning. This, this is Sylvia from Tech Su Support. How can I help you? Hi, Sylvia. This is Araceli. I'm calling from the accounting department. I'd like to report a problem with my cell phone. What is it, Araceli? Um, it doesn't want to turn on. I see. Uh, let me ask you some question. 
Uh huh. What are the questions that you're going to ask? Uh -huh. Do you turn off and turn on the uh, cell phone? I tried. Unfortunately, um, it's not working. And your cell phone is charged? Um, I, I don't remember, honestly. Since I cannot turn it on, I cannot see how, how much charge it has. Okay. Um, I think that, that you need the connection. Okay. Okay, so let me try. Stay with me, please. I want to try right now. Ah, okay. Thank you, Sylvia. It is working now. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> so, it was a short conversation. Una conversación corta, si ustedes of course. se dieron cuenta. O sea, no es que le he dado a Sylvia lo que me va a decir. No, la hemos hecho así, ahorita, en el momento. So, tell me, what was the problem? ¿Cuál era el problema que tenía? Your cell phone not charged. Ah, okay. My cell phone wasn't charged. Okay. Mi teléfono yeah. no estaba cargado. Yeah. Okay. And what was the solution? Change battery. Ah, okay. Perfect. Yeah. I could have changed the battery. Pude haber cambiado la batería. ¿Qué más? What else could I have done? Connect the cell phone to the main power. Okay, connect the cell phone to the main power. Excellent, what else? Restart the system. Ah, okay. Reset the, the settings or the system, okay. Probably update the software. Okay, excellent. So let's see, do I have another volunteer? I need another volunteer. Otherwise, Sylvia is going to choose. Miguel mm Dominguez. -hmm. Okay, thank you, Silvia. So, Miguel, now is your turn. Right. Okay, so um, you're going to be the technician and I'm going to be the one that is asking for help, okay? Okay. Uh, hi, teacher. No, let's suppose that we don't know each other. Supongamos que no nos conocemos. Vamos a... Ah, okay. eh, yo estoy llamando a soporte técnico. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Hello. My name is Miguel Angel. Uh, what is your problem? Hi, Miguel. Uh, this is Araceli. I am calling you in reference about my password. I have tried several times to access my account, but unfortunately it says that my password is invalid. Can you help me? Ya me perdí, teacher. Muy bien, rápido lo dijo todo. Ah. <laughs> me ponchó. Y yo que eh, que voy entendí lo del de password, espacio. ¿verdad? Hey, que para usted bien fácil, eh, pero, pero bien, le entendí lo de que tiene problemas con el password para ingresar, de ahí lo demás no le entendí. Ok, yeah, I'm trying to access, I said that I'm trying, sorry, I'm trying to access 
uh, my <clears throat> account, but I'm having problems with my password. Okay, I have tried several times, Jenkins, varias veces, and still it doesn't accept. Can you help me with that? Me puede ayudar con eso? Uh, one moment, please, in line. Okay. okay, excellent. Mientras pienso que le voy a responder. Usted me puede decir, hold on, <laughs> hold on, que es ah, esperar, hold ¿verdad? Hold on, or okay. uh, would you mind holding on the line? Ajá, yo le dije, eh, one moment, please. Ok, en la, eh, ¿Estaría bien? Sí, okay. también. One moment, please. Eh. Para mientras está la musiquita sí, está... ahí en línea, ¿verdad? Ajá. Eh, ¿Cómo decirle? Eh, uh -huh. Voy a ver mis apuntes, permítame. Ok. Ok. Está bien, está bien. <risa> Gracias por llamar al servicio técnico de claro. En unos momentos. Vaya, con... vaya, Daniel me quiere apoyar, dice. Ok, teacher. Eh, well, eh. Okay. Uh, I, 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 my name is Daniel Luna. I am the supervisor of Miguel. Can I, ah. What can I help you? How okay. can I help you? Hi, Daniel. <laughs> I'm trying to access my account, but unfortunately, it doesn't accept my password. Um, I have tried several times and it says that it's invalid. Can you help me with that, please? Okay, what is the last time do you change the password? Mm, probably six months ago, I think. Okay, the, the problem with this account is last three months, the 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 password is is invalid and you can tell me your email for sending a ah ya me perdí no pero vamos oh, bien sería, you can you can send me, you you can you can send an email to customer at uh, le digo una dirección. <laughs> uh, make Customer it up. At... ABC123, yes. uh -huh. ABC123.com. Ah, okay. And, and you can, you, uh, and you can, you can me as, um, ¿cómo se dice? Solicitar, request. As uh, yeah, ask you for can, request. You, uh, you can you can ask for uh, your a new a new password for your account. Ah, okay. Thank you. And how long and is it the, going to be valid? The password is one is send, sending to you is is valid only for twenty four hours. Oh. After 24 hours, do you need to uh, send again uh, another uh, another uh, email? Ah, okay, got it. Thank you, Daniel. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, that's it. Bye. Thank you for calling abc one two three dot com. Okay, bye. Okay, you're welcome. Right. Okay. Thank you. Good. Okay. So you can see that here we just role played a different scenario. Acabamos de hacer otro escenario diferente, ¿verdad? Que es muy común. Believe it or not, this is very, very common. Es algo súper común que la gente ya mejor que se les olvidó la contraseña 
o se les ha olvidado el usuario, etc. Ok, really good what you did. Estuvo muy bien lo que hicieron, ¿verdad? To tell me to reset my password. A really good question. When was the last time that I changed it? De la, la última vez que la cambié. Honestly, I don't remember the last time that I changed my passwords. But really good. Okay, perfect. Hold, I'll, I'll stop sharing screen right now. And I'm going to check attendance. Voy a pasar lista, verdad? No. I might forget it. So let's see. Albanelli Reyes. Ana Delmi Herrera. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Consuelo del Carmen. Daniel Antonio Luna. Thank you. Daniel Enrique Orellana. Present. Thank you. Giovanni Alexander Pineda. Present. Thank you. Isabel Beatriz. Juan Carlos Peña. Juan Osmel Vizcarra. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Yvette Márquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Renata Romero. Reinaldo Castro. Present teacher. Thank you. Zenaida América. Zenaida. Silvia Suleima. Suleima Present teacher. Thank you. Suleima Verónica. Xiomara del Carmen. Daniela Alexandra. And Jenny Carolina. Okay, perfect. So let's continue. So we were talking about, well, we were role playing, we were modeling some conversations. I don't know if I have right now volunteers. No sé si tengo voluntarios entre ustedes, ¿verdad? Para hacer una conversación similar. Do I have volunteers? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, thank you. So I have Juan and... And Daniel. Okay, yes. good. So you just need to choose who is going to be the technician and who is going to be the customer. Hey. Was it? I am technician. Hey. Okay. Hi. Hi. This is Osman from the IT service. Hi, Osman. This is Daniel. I am calling from, I am calling, I have a problem with my printer. Uh, sorry? <clears throat> Hi, Smith. Uh, this is Danny. I am calling for, I have a problem with my printer. Uh, uh, is is right since when do you have the problem uh, is a funny a funny noise in the printer say on night please i review by remote uh, my printer is what? Que me permita un momento a mí. Okay. 
Okay. Thanks for waiting. Me. Uh, have to turn off the computer. Wait a minute and turn on again. Okay, please. Turn off the computer. Wait a minute. No. And turn again. Okay. Ready? Ready? Yes. yes it's working. My is ready. See, yes, yes. Working. Okay. Thank you, Osme. It's a pleasure. Okay, good. Um, okay. So we need to practice a little bit more, and that is something that we are going to be doing in a few minutes. Vamos a seguir practicando, ¿verdad? Pero me parece, si ustedes se fijan, estamos haciendo las conversaciones en el momento. Ya no estamos ahí que anotando el diálogo, sino que eso es lo que yo necesito, ¿verdad? Que vayamos ya, así, Teacher. Yes, that's right. Yeah, tell me. Teacher. Ajá. La idea es improvisar, teacher. La idea es no apoyarnos de herramientas, es improvisar. That is Solo correct. así vamos a aprender. That's right. Sí, solamente así, ¿verdad? O sea, lo que ustedes comprendan, lo que ustedes capten, y, e inmediatamente ya, ¿verdad? Soltarnos. Ese es el objetivo, ir perdiendo el miedo. ¿Ok? And if you don't understand, don't worry about it. Si no entienden, no se preocupen, ¿verdad? O sea, vamos así, paso a paso. So, I'm going to be explaining right now the grammar topic that I told you about. And this is something that we are going to be using. So let me just share my presentation. Okay. So we are going to be talking about would like or would like to. That it's a very common expression that you'll see in this type of conversation. So for example, we have here would like to we use would like to, or you can see like to, to say politely what we want, especially when making offers and requests. Okay? Tenemos el would like to, cuando lo vamos a utilizar, ¿verdad? O cómo lo vamos a utilizar. And it says that it's a polite way, en una forma cortés o educada, ¿verdad? Para decir o que utilizamos cuando estamos solicitando o pedimos algo, ¿verdad? O cuando ofrecemos algo. We have the example. Would you like to eat a cookie with your coffee? Would you like to eat? I'm offering. Les estoy pidiendo. Bueno, les estoy ofreciendo. Sorry. I'm offering you something. Les estoy ofreciendo algo de una forma educada. Would you like to eat a cookie with your coffee? Then I have the next example that says, I'd like to go on vacation now. I'd like to go on vacation now. Me gustaría irme de vacaciones ahora. So that is an example, okay? So you can see we are using would like to. Another thing that we have here is the verbs that follow like are in the infinitive to infinitive form. So you can see, would you like to listen to that again? I'd like to get a return ticket for tomorrow. So if we can see here, hold on. If we can see here, we have uh, like to, and then you can see that we have a verb in its infinitive form. I'd like to get, you can see we have like to, we have here like to, and then we have a verb in its infinitive form, okay? 
So you can see we have, this is the short form. Esa es la forma corta de I would. So we can say, I would like to, or I'd like to. Okay? Both are correct. Las dos son correctas. Yo lo puedo usar tanto para hacer una pregunta, ¿verdad? Pero cuando es pregunta es porque yo les estoy ofreciendo algo. ¿Ok? Y luego tenemos lo que son las oraciones. We are going to be studying each of them in a few minutes. Ya vamos a ir estudiando cada una de ellas, ¿verdad? I don't know if there are questions at this moment. Preguntas a este momento. ¿Ahorita? ¿O dudas? No. Okay. Teacher. Tell me. Eh, perdón, teacher. Eh, en, ahí explica las formas en las que podemos preguntar. Ya lo podemos explicar. Ahorita estamos viendo más que todo el uso, ¿verdad? Ok, y el, el verbo. Si ustedes ah, okay. se dan cuenta, acá tenemos que los verbos que siguen en like van a estar en el infinitivo. Aquí sale lo que es el to y el verbo en infinitivo o la forma infinitiva. I would like to listen, to listen. I'd like to get, to, what? to get a return ticket for tomorrow. Ok. Eso más que todo. Ahora bien. We have here this okay. chart when we are explaining the differences between do you like and would you like, okay? Con preguntas. But this, we use, do you like to ask about preferences in general? Si yo quiero preguntar acerca de las preferencias o sus gustos o cosas que no les gustan, utilizo lo que es el do you like, okay? We cannot use do you like to make offers or requests, okay? Yo no uso el do you like cuando hago ofrecimientos o peticiones, ¿verdad? So we have here these examples. Um, hold on. We have do you like rice? Do you like rice? Here it asks about likes and dislikes in general. O sea, les estoy preguntando si les gusta el arroz. O sea, me pueden decir, ah, yes, teacher. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. I don't like rice. But if I ask, would you like some rice? Would you like some rice? I'm offering you some rice. Ok, aquí yo les estoy ofreciendo. Would you like some rice? ¿Les gustaría algo de arroz? So let's suppose that we are on a dinner or we're having a lunch. And all of us have taken something to eat. And I ask, would you like some rice? Yo les pregunto, ¿les gustaría algo de arroz? Ah, yes, I would or no, thank you. Do you like dancing? Here, we're talking about something, if you like it or not. And this is in general. Esto es en general, pero ¿le gusta bailar? You can tell me, yes, I do or no, I don't. But if I ask, Would you like to dance? As it says here, invites you to dance. Okay, would you like to dance? ¿Le gustaría bailar? Aquí, yo lo estoy invitando a bailar, por ejemplo. Okay, so let's suppose that we are on a party and everybody's dancing and probably some of you is sitting or is standing um, and is doing nothing. So I can get there and ask you, would you like to dance? I, I am inviting you to dance. Los estoy invitando a que bailen. I don't know if this is clear, the differences between, uh, between do you like and would you like? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Just remember that when we use do you like, we're talking about likes and dislikes in general. Okay, si yo uso lo que es el do you like, estoy preguntando acerca de los gustos y cosas que no les gustan en general. Okay, 
Ya cuando uso lo que es el would like to o el would like, ¿ok? Aquí es cuando uno ya está, les está ofreciendo algo o le está solicitando algo, ¿ok? So, how are we going to make sentences and questions? Entonces, ¿cómo vamos a hacer lo que son las oraciones afirmativas, negativas e interrogativas? Um, they are going to be like this. So, you can see here that what we are going to have, first of all, is going to be the subject. Lo primero que vamos a tener es el sujeto. Subject. Then, you can see, we're going to have, we're going to have, um, would like or would like to in okay here there is something that i need to tell you okay if we are using would like we're going to have noun and if we have would like to as it is here would like to we're going to have a verb and then we're going to have a compliment, okay? If you can see, I would like a cup of tea. Me gustaría una taza de té. You would like a cup of tea. We would like to drink tea. Nos encantaría o nos gustaría beber té o tomar té, okay? So these are some differences. Son algunas diferencias que pueden ver. Acá tengo lo que es el would like, pero que va sucedido por un sustantivo. Va seguido de lo que es un sustantivo. En este caso, a cup of tea, una taza de café. Acá el would like to va a ir seguido de lo que es un verbo. ¿Ok? And another thing that is important to explain or to tell you is that would is going to be the same. Would like is going to be the same for all the subject pronouns, okay? Here we are not changing the auxiliary. The auxiliary is going to be the same for all of them, okay? El auxiliar es el mismo para todos los sujetos. Aquí no es que si es tercera persona o que si es singular o que si es plural, no. El auxiliar es el mismo, okay? With negative sentences, basically is the same. Con las oraciones negativas es prácticamente lo mismo. You can see we're going to have the subject, the subject, then we're going to have would not or wouldn't like, then we're going to have either the noun or a verb and a complement, okay? A noun. Vamos a tener ya sea un sustantivo o un verbo, sorry. Más el complemento. Okay. So you can see. I wouldn't like a cup of tea. She wouldn't like to drink tea. And the same. Lo mismo, ¿verdad? Se mantiene. Lo que es el wouldn't es el mismo para todo. Ahora bien, con las preguntas. With questions, you can see. We're going to have first of all would. Vamos a tener primero lo que es el would. Then we're going to have the subject. Then we're going to have like or like to. Y por último, lo que es el complemento, ¿verdad? Si es like, solamente like, vamos a tener el sustantivo, ¿verdad? Pero si es el would like to, vamos a tener lo que es un verbo más un complemento, ¿ok? So you can see there that we have, would you like a cup of tea? Would she like to drink tea? And the answers, affirmative and negative, would be, yes, I would. Um, yes, you would. Yes, she would. And so on. Or, no, you wouldn't. No, she wouldn't. No, we wouldn't. Or, no, they wouldn't. Okay? Esa es la forma en la que vamos a ir respondiendo. Sin embargo, si ustedes van a dar una respuesta negativa, hay otra manera de hacerlo. Um, can I continue? 
¿Puedo continuar? Solo, solo, solo copio el último. Ah, ok. Any questions? Preguntas? Teacher, en el cuadro anterior, eh, donde estaba, eh, ¿cómo usarlo? Igual decía, do you like dancing? Ahí se va a usar el verbo eh, agregando el ing, ¿o por qué? Vaya, muy buena pregunta. Lo que sucede es lo siguiente, cuando yo uso lo que es el like, el verbo like, tengo dos opciones, ¿ok? Uh, yo puedo usar el like más un verbo en ing o puedo usar lo que es el like más el tú y el verbo en infinitivo. Y un verbo en infinitivo. ¿A qué se refiere esto? Yo le puedo decir o yo le puedo dar el ejemplo. I like... Uh, dancing, como el ejemplo que teníamos anteriormente, I like dancing or I like to dance. Ambas oraciones están en presente simple y el significado es el mismo. No pierdo lo que quiero decir. Estoy diciendo que me gusta bailar. En las dos oraciones digo que me gusta bailar. ¿Ok? Lo que sucede es que el verbo like les acepta un verbo en gerundio o el verbo en infinitivo. Pero si vamos a usar el verbo en infinitivo, necesito lo que es el tú. ¿Ok? I like dancing. I like to dance. Lo mismo. Si yo fuese a hablar de tercera persona y como es presente, simple. She likes dancing. O she likes To dance. ¿Ok? Y ahí estoy expresando lo mismo, que a ella le gusta bailar. Lo que sucede es que hay ciertos verbos en inglés que nos aceptan un verbo en gerundio o en infinitivo. O sea, pueden ser ambos. Pero hay otros que no. Ejemplo, si yo uso lo que es el verbo like, hay que no talk about start. Ok, that is another one. Uh, let me remember, enjoy. Eso es otro verbo que les acepta, un verbo en, después en, en ING, perdón. Uh, let me remember another one. We have start, enjoy, avoid, que les acepta un verbo en ING. For example, I start working. Hold on. So I can tell you, I start working, I enjoy visiting, I avoid drinking, for example, ok, acá tengo verbos, tengo estos verbos, pero luego tengo esos verbos en ING, ok, es decir, si yo comienzo a trabajar, yo disfruto visitar, yo evito beber o tomar y ahí les digo lo que es, ¿verdad? O sea, son ciertas reglas gramaticales que nosotros tenemos. ¿verdad? Hay ciertos verbos que sí, los puede aceptar ambos, es decir, un verbo en ING y el otro en infinitivo con el tú, pero hay otros que solamente le van a aceptar un verbo en ING, ¿ok? No me voy a meter mucho en eso porque si no me lo voy a confundir, lo voy a confundir un poquito, ¿ok? But in this case, okay, yes, thank you. you're welcome. I can use both. Okay. Um, questions? No. No? Okay. No, so no, no. Can I continue? Yes. Okay, good. And here we have this information, grammar notes. Um, It says, let me check, uh, we're going to have Reinaldo. Can you help me reading the examples, please? 
I would like a cup of tea. It's a more polite, polite way to say. I want a cup of tea. I would, I would like a cup of tea. Ex a a T C is often contracted to I D like a cup of tea in speaking. Yes, I would is never contracted to yes I be in response to an offer. No, thank you. Is considered more more polluted than no, I will not. Okay, thank you, Reynaldo. So you can see that here we have some grammar yeah. notes. And the first one says, I would like a cup of tea. It's a more polite way. It's more polite to say, I want a cup of tea. This year, I would like a cup of tea. It's más formal que decir, I want a cup of tea. Me gustaría una taza de té. I quiero una taza de té. Okay, then we have, I would like a cup of tea. It's often contracted to I'd like a cup of tea. Okay, ya la hora de hablar es más común usar lo que es la forma corta. I'd like a cup of tea. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. It's never contracted to yes, I'd. Okay, si nosotros estamos dando una respuesta afirmativa, La forma correcta es decirlo todo completo. Nunca, nunca se contracta, ¿ok? No voy a decir yes, I, ¿ok? A menos que haya más información. Yes, I'd like a cup of tea, ¿ok? En ese caso sí. Pero porque tengo el yes y luego estoy haciendo lo que es una oración. Then we have in response to an offer, no thank you is considered more polite than no, I wouldn't, okay? Lo que mencionábamos anteriormente, si yo voy a responder de manera negativa, la mejor forma que yo tengo es decir no, thank you, okay? Es más cortés que decir no, I wouldn't. So if I ask, um, would you like a chocolate? ¿Les gustaría un chocolate? Would you like a chocolate? You can tell me. Yes, I would, or not, thank you. Ok, y de las dos formas es correcta. Sí o no, gracias. Um, I don't know if there are questions about this. No. So is everything clear? Todo claro? Problemas? Preguntas? No. Okay, good. So what we are going to do right now, lo que vamos a hacer entonces ahorita, let me see how many people I have. Okay, we are going to go to breakup rooms and I'm going to give you enough time, lo voy a dar tiempo suficiente, ¿verdad? Para que hagamos una conversación, okay? So I'm going to start sharing screen. Let me see where is it. So you can see here we have on page 43 what we've been discussing, how to use would like to, and it says we use would like to to say what you want, especially when making offers and requests. So we have singular and plural, something that we already talked about, that is the same for all subjects. Okay, ya lo vimos que es el mismo para todos los sujetos. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Since we already practiced that conversation, and I remember that you were going to work on this exercise yesterday. Hold on. Ok, sorry. Vaya, estábamos trabajando en esto ayer, ¿verdad? Y no todos terminaron, me decían, por cuestiones de tiempo. 
So I need you to work on that first. Necesito que trabajemos en eso primero, ¿verdad? En lo que es la conversación. About the technical issues or tech problems. And then we are going to come here. Luego nos vamos a venir acá, ¿verdad? Okay. Aquí, okay, sorry about that. Les decía, después de la conversación lo que vamos a hacer es venirnos acá a la página 43. And it says, imagine a piece of equipment at your workplace is broken. Right from four to five requests about it. Ok, imaginémonos que algún, algún alguna maquinaria o what. Que es algo que ustedes utilicen en el trabajo esté arruinado o esté averiado. Acá ustedes van a escribir, ¿verdad? Van a escribir de 4 a 5 requests about it. So if I talk about myself, let me share this. So if I talk about myself, Okay, so I have to write four to five requests about it. Example, I'd like to report my cell phone. Me gustaría reportar mi celular. Okay, uh, let's see another one. ¿Qué otra puedo decir o qué más puedo decir yo de mi, tra de, de mi celular? The battery is not working. Okay, the battery is not working. So what can I do about it? Um, I like to report, change. Okay, I like to change my phone's battery. Excellent, what else? So you're giving me the solutions now. Me están dando soluciones. So we have, I'd like to report my cell phone. I'd like to check my phone's battery. What else? I like to change my phone's screen. So la pantalla del teléfono. I like to change. I'm sorry, my what did phone? you say? My phone's screen. Or la pantalla del teléfono. Mm -hmm. My phone's, yes. And what else? I like to change my phone. <laughs> Cambiar el teléfono. Okay. Or replace. Replace my cell phone. Okay, excellent. So you see, we've been working on that right now. Si se dan cuenta, hemos trabajado en eso. Y es lo que vamos a ir a hacer entonces a los breakup rooms. Lo primero es la conversación. Okay. And then we are going to be working on this exercise. On exercise number four. Okay. Is that clear what we are going to do? Yes. Any question? No? <laughs> okay, so if there are no questions, we are going to go right now to the breakup rooms. Mm -hmm. Let me just create them. So let's begin. I'll be there checking. For your work, okay?
Hi, Sanaida. Sanaida, can you hear me? Pero, ajá, lo de ahorita ya es como que, como que hagamos, eh, nombremos cuatro o cinco equipos que estén arruinados en nuestro trabajo. ¿Sería el mismo equipo o, o No, dice, o imagine, imagine piezas de equipo, dice, que en su trabajo, es, eh, imagine piezas de equipos que en su trabajo estén quebrados o arruinados. O rojos. Yeah, uh -huh. Ah, ok. Escribir eh, cuatro o cinco. Mencionar cuatro o cinco. Es. Uh, el... Ahí podemos poner. Eh, my... Ahí podemos poner la pantalla o podemos poner. Computadora, computadora, computadora. Ajá. Eh, si gusta, hagámosla y. y... Y luego las compartimos. Entonces sería. Ah, el like comienza, ¿verdad? I like to. I like to. Report. Report. Okay. 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 I am technical my support. Name. Technical support. Hello, uh, my name. Hello, 
It is just being uh -huh. said, hello, good evening, my name is Norma. O no, Técnico de soporte. Afternoon. Hello. After. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Norma. I am technical support. I am. How I can how I how I how am. I help you? Uh -huh. How can I? How? Ah, uh, how can I? How can I help how, you? Okay. How can I help? Can you? I help you? And when you are saying, I am technical support, no, I am from technical support, or I am from tech support. Yo soy técnico de, del lugar. Yes. I am from tech support. I am from. Mm, sí, porque si ustedes me dicen I am technical support, me están diciendo que yo soy soporte técnico, que mi nombre es soporte técnico y él no es, ¿verdad? Si quieren decir que son técnicos o técnicas, I am a technician, ¿ok? Ajá. Ok. How can I? Can I? Entonces quedaría Hello Good afternoon My name is Norma How can I help you? I am from oh. I am from Technical support uh -huh. I, I am I am From From, from. from Technical support How can I help you? How can I help you? I am fro from, ¿cómo lo escriben? I am from. Ajá, from. from I am, o sea, from, I am de, de from. I am de yo soy. From, I am, sí, ¿cómo ajá, ajá. No, pero lo from. La teacher. Ahí lo escribió ah, la teacher. Ah, ya, ya, ahí Thank you, teacher. I am from. You're welcome. Technical support. Thank yes. you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you, support. Ajá. Ok, si Marita, ¿qué es lo que va a reportar? <risa> ok, yo aquí reporté, dice, Hello, my name is Yumara. I have to with access a internet. Ok. Access. With. I, I have tro trouble. I have, I have a trouble. Uh, I have a trouble. trouble. Conexión a internet. Access. Access, acceso a internet. Ah, uh, I have a trouble. Internet, internet access. Yeah, internet Ajá. access. Yeah. Teacher, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre trouble and problem? ¿En trouble. qué momento se puede poner trouble? ¿En qué, en qué momento problem? Permítame, permítame, ya le digo. ¿Qué sale esta? La 3. Bye. Ok, sorry. Sí, es que tengo, ahorita estoy teniendo problemas con una de sus compañeras. Ok, so you said, what is the difference between trouble and problem, uh -huh. right? Sí. Mm -hmm. Ok. Um, well, basically, the difference that we are going to have here is that a trouble means that you did something wrong. O sea, trouble es algo que usted hizo mal, por decirlo así. O mal. Ajá, o sea, es algo que yo realicé. Y la consecuencia es esa, ¿verdad? And when we talk about problem... Uh, I have a trouble. Ajá, o sea, digamos, se me olvidó apagarle el fuego a los frijoles. Oops. I'm in trouble, ok. Yo, yo misma me metí en ese problema. Estoy en problema. Ajá, ¿qué me va a pasar? Se me va a quemar. Ah. O se me va a acabar el gas. Ok. Well, uh, and if we talk about problems, it means that something is wrong. Ok. That's the difference. 
ok, so there's something that oh. I did wrong, I have uh -huh. yo hice That's mal, cool. so I'm in trouble, ok, in trouble, yes, ok, entonces sería aquí problem, no trouble, ajá, sería problem, porque uh -huh. no es algo que yo hice del internet, uh -huh. no lo desconecté, <laughs> ok, Sí, ahí es donde yo quería saber porque la verdad que yo decía ¿por qué es trouble problem? Gracias. ¿A ustedes? Do you have another question? Otra pregunta. No por el momento. Okay. So I'll let you continue working. La voy a dejar que sigan trabajando. Ya voy a regresar. Está bien. Okay. Get over here. Yo ya tengo una, compañeros. Ya tengo una, no sé si está bien. Es, I like to report my computer connection doesn't work. En español sería, eh, me gustaría reportar que la conexión de mi computadora no está funcionando. Ok, Juan, can you read it one more time, please? Of course, teacher. I'd like to report my computer connection. Doesn't work. My computer connection, period. My computer Doesn't. connection, punto... It doesn't work. Ah, it doesn't work. Sí, ahí después Perfecto. de connection iría el punto y de ahí it doesn't work. Sería coma o punto. Tío? No, un punto. Ah, ok. It doesn't work. Perfecto. Esta que le diré ahorita. It like to report my computer not turning on. I'd I like, like this. Uh, I like to report my computer not turn it on. Turn it on. I'd like to report my computer. Period. Ponemos un punto ahí. It doesn't turn on. It doesn't uh -huh. turn sí, on. Sí, no enciende. It doesn't. Turn on. Yes. Perfecto. Uh, Cuando nos referimos a cosas, siempre va a ser editar. Dependiendo, si es solamente una, sí. Si son varias, no. En este caso, usted está reportando una computadora. Si, digamos, usted reportara sí. la computadora, la impresora, y la fotocopiadora, por decirlo así. Ahí como estoy hablando de varios, they don't turn on. Ellos no encienden. Ok. But if I want to report my TV, the TV, for example, the TV doesn't turn on. No enciende. La televisión no enciende. Porque es solamente una. Y siempre pondremos, I like to. If you are reporting it, yes. Si lo estamos reportando, sí. I'd like to report a problem. Ok. Or you can say, I'd like to tell you a problem. 
me gustaría decirte un problema. Ok. Or you can also say, I'd like to inform. And did you finish? Eh, Reinaldo, ya tiene la, la, la suya. Sí. Regálenosla, por favor. I like to change CPU. I does, it does not work. I like to change CPU. CPU. It does no work. Ah. It doesn't work. Sería verdad. Doesn't or does not. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. Dame la tuya también. Ah. La tuya, regalame. La primera. Sí, sí. Y la tuya, Daniel. Eh, eh, la primera. Va, voy ahí. I like to report my computer connection. I like to report my computer connection. Hi, did you finish? Hola. Hola, teacher. Hola, ¿qué tal? Teníamos como una duda. Ahí en la, cuando usamos el, el I would like to, es cuando estamos como pidiendo o solicitando ayuda. Correcto. Que no, y si solo ponemos, si solo ponemos el like, es algo que a usted le gusta. Es, le gusta. Ajá. Sí, estamos hablando de gustos. O sea, si yo les digo, I like chocolate, I like music, I like um, sleeping, estoy hablando de lo que son mis gustos. Me gusta la música, el chocolate, dormir, etc. Pero ya si yo uso lo que es el would, I would like, me gustaría, I would like, Okay. Teacher. Yes. Okay. Y el would like to lo podemos utilizar como para algo positivo y algo negativo. Yes. It would Por like. ejemplo, I would, li I would like play soccer. I okay. would like eh, to broken screen the computer. Uh -huh. Se puede. Si le gustaría romper o quebrar la pantalla de la computadora. Ok. Por eso le preguntaba. Ajá. Yeah. Por eso se puede. Sí se puede. Ok. Solo que es okay. una acción mala, ¿verdad? Pero sí se puede. Ajá. Por eso le preguntaba. O sea, se puede para... Se puede utilizar para algo positivo y para algo negativo. Yeah. So you can tell me. I would like to drink Coke. Me gustaría beber Coca-Cola. Coke. Or I would like to go home early. Me gustaría irme a la casa temprano, ¿verdad? Cuando llegan ustedes al trabajo, son las ocho y media. Ay, ya me quiero ir. I would like to go home. Or I would like to go on vacation. Me gustaría irme de vacaciones. Or if you are angry, si usted se enoja, está enojado, y digamos, quiere ¿qué? golpear o quiere... Sí, digamos, quiere golpear la puerta o la pared. I would like to hit the wall. Me gustaría okay. golpear la pared. I would like to hit the, 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 the door. Me gustaría golpear la puerta. You can do it. Me gustaría. Okay, okay. thank you. You're welcome. And did you finish with the conversations as well? 
Respondimos, eh, hicimos los cuatro ejemplos de Workplace is Broken. Ajá. Eh, posterior que teníamos que hacer una conversación. Yeah, that was the first thing that you were going to do. Era lo primero okay. que iban a hacer. Cuanto... <coughs> ok. Lo intentaremos en este momento. Ok. Thank you. Eh. Ayer habíamos comenzado con una parte de la, de la conversación. No sé si o menos la vamos haciendo así como habíamos comenzado ayer. ¿Cómo empezaba, Claudia? Eh, estábamos nosotros comenzando, digamos, este, por ejemplo, Good morning, my name is Claudia. I would like to report a problem. Pero ahora sería diferente, teacher. Sería utilizando el Google okay, Entonces yo podría decir, Good morning, Claudia. No, My hey, name is Linda. Hey. Uh -huh. No, pero ahí lo estoy mencionando. Sí, ahí lo menciona. Okay. I would like to report a problem. Like to report a problem. Y después ya contesta cualquiera de los, ¿verdad? Ok. No. Eh, hello, Claudia. What is your problem? Y ahí podía contestar, ¿verdad? I have trouble with system. Y tiene que contestar a alguien más. No, pero la segunda la quedó bien alto, ya que yo. No era que lo que Miguel o Linda. Ese cacho todavía. Hola, hola. Hola. Sería cómo resolver el problema. Ajá, va, digamos, I have trouble with shifting. Eh, y... ¿Por qué no le empezamos? ¿Por qué no le empezamos con una pregunta? Por ejemplo, eh, yo le pregunto a Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Why would you like to do this day? ¿Qué te gustaría hacer este día, Claudia? Y usted me responde, me gustaría... Eh, pero, pero no sé. la ventana o qué, o no la, sé. Usted está queriendo romper todo. <risa> Okay. Pero yo tengo entendido que la conversación tiene que ser con respecto al problema de, de, de lo que estamos reportando, del sistema o del trabajo. No sé si, si sería así. Eh, entonces yo lo he entendido mal, Tiche. Yo lo entendí como que improvisar una conversación, no sé. At this moment, no. Ahorita no. Más adelante vamos a estar ya con las propias propias. Okay. Así ya okay. improvisando como usted dice, ¿verdad? Ok. But I think that we're going to go to the main session. Nos vamos a ir ya a la sesión principal. Ok. Ok. Okay, so hi again. Okay, so we are going to check what you have done, but before that, I'm going to check attendance. So let's begin. Alba Nelly Reyes. Present teacher. Okay, Ana Del Mi Herrera. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present, teacher. Ok. Uh, Consuelo del Carmen. 
Daniel Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Daniel Enrique Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Giovanni Alexander Pineda. Present. Thank you. Isabel Beatriz. Thank you, Isabel. Juan Carlos Peña. Juan Osmel. Present teacher. Linda Yvette Márquez. Teacher. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Renata Romero. Reinaldo Castro. Sanaida América. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you, Reinaldo. Thank you, Sanaida. Silvia Suleima. Present teacher. Thank you, Silvia. Suleima Verónica. Xiomara del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniela Alexandra. And Jenny Carolina. Okay, good. So let's see. Group number one. Let me see group number one. I have Claudia, Giovanni, Linda, and Miguel. So tell me. We're going to check right now your activities. Vamos a revisar entonces lo que hicieron. Okay. I, okay, tell me. Eh, hicimos la parte de la 43, o sea, la página 43. Mm, el reporte de algunos problemas de... Uh, I would like to report my screen computer. computer. I uh, would like to cell phone not here. Eh, no sé, what do you say? No se escucha, no, no sé si, si se puede decir. Ok, so que no again, se escucha, I, I would like uh, to, uh, you said. I would like to system that doesn't connect. I would like to cash counting machine. And what do you say, máquina recontadora? Máquina? Recontadora, como recontadora de billetes. Okay, hold on. That's new for me. Así se llama la que, la que cuenta los billetes. Sí, en el sí. banco. Máquina de recontadora. Sí. Ok. Es Okay, hold on. Let me just look it up for you. Ah, okay. So that one, I'll, I'll send it to the chat. Okay, it's money counter. Money counter. Yes. Okay, yeah, Claudia, uh, Thank you. you're welcome. Just let me tell you that you are missing the verb. Ahí le hace falta lo que es el verbo. Because you're telling me I'd like to. So mm -hmm. let me share screen. We have I'd like to. Y luego? Mm, no. I like to, um, no funciona. Pero, ¿qué es lo que no funciona? En la máquina. I like to report. Me gustaría reportar, por ejemplo. Mm -hmm. I'd like mm -hmm. to report the money counter, for example. Okay. Mm -hmm. Period. Okay. And then you can say what the problem is. It doesn't work or it doesn't turn on. No funciona 
o no enciende. Ok. Ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Claudia, can you choose another person, please? Is uh, el mismo group o otra persona? From a different group. Ok. Ana. Ok, Ana. Buenas noches. Um, I do, I do like to check battery. Estoy hablando de vehículo. You said, I, I do like to would. check battery. Checking, checking battery. Okay, I would like. I would like to check the battery, okay. What else do you have? Uh, I, would, I would like to check checking the coiling water. Okay, I would like to check. Uh -huh, to check the coiling water. How do you spell that word? ¿Cómo deletrea la, la palabra que dice uh, agua? Calling. C-O-O-L-I-N-G. In English? Calling. Yeah, but in English? E-O-O-L-I-N-G. -O -O cooling. Yes, so we teacher. have cooling. Okay. <laughs> Good. One more. Cooling. Una más. Uh, I would like, I would like to check in the end. The direction of car, Uster Kai. The direction. Uster car. The direction the of, the car? of car. Okay. Of the car. Okay. So, um, I like. To. To change cha, 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 the motor. Cambiar el motor. Okay, I would like to change, to change the motor. Okay, for the motor. Thank yes. you. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Anna, choose another person, please. Ahorita. Vamos a ver. Carlos. Ok. O Manuel, no sé cómo se Carlos, yo creo que Carlos no está. No. Um, no, he's not here. Albanelli. Ok, thank you. Nelly, tell us yours. Hello. Hello, teacher. With my partner only make the, the conversation. Ah, okay, perfect. So let's listen to you. Let's listen to your conversation. It's with my, it's with Norma and Xiomara. Uh, uh, Norma say, hello, good afternoon. My name is Norma. I am from technical support. How can I help you? Xiomara, Say hey, hello, my name is Yomara. I would like to report a problem with my computer. Norma, what is the problem, Miss Yomara? Yomara, say I don't have internet access. Norma, check the cable. It is well connected. I will reset your your modem and wait for ten minutes. 
Revolución Mara. Say thank you. Okay, good. Really good conversation. Let's see. Um, Nelly, choose another person, please. Uh, Juan Osmel. Okay, Juan. Yes, teacher. Uh, he like to report his computer connection. It doesn't work. Number two. I like to report my computer. It doesn't to none. Number three. You like to change your CPU. It doesn't work. I like to buy a new cable to my computer. Okay, good. Am I missing one group? No. No, I think no, right? Just están todos los grupos. Okay, besides Nelly's group, was another group able to make the conversation? Uh, no, teacher, I am only Norma, Xiomara, and Isabel. Okay, thank you, Nelly. Aparte del grupo de Nelly, ¿alguien más pudo realizar la conversación? Dice, eh, yo había hecho una ahí, pero, o sea, yo la hice, no sé, te la puedo. Ok. Decir. Yes, let's listen. Uh -huh. Ok. Ay. Eh, Claudia, digamos. Ok, yo estoy hablando. Good morning, my name is Claudia. I would, eh, I would like to report a problem. Y contesta la otra persona. Hello, Claudia. What is your problem? I have trouble with system. Uh, wait a moment, please. Um, online. Please reset system. I am moment. Uh, thank you. Okay, and that's it? Only, teacher. Sí, only. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? My no? group teacher. Okay, but let's listen to your group, Juan. Eh, Reinaldo and Daniel. Mm -hmm. Eh, ¿Puedo leer la yo, teacher? ¿O tenemos ah, que interactuar con ella? Sí, de preferencia, interactúen entre ustedes, ¿verdad? Daniel, comience. Okay. Good morning. I am Daniel. IT department. I, I am Reinaldo. I have problem internet connection. What's your problem right now? I have no connection since yesterday. We will, uh, <clears throat> we will some technician so that he can review. Okay, thank you. Okay, Renato. Okay. So let's see. What we are going to do now is the following. We're going to be working in two more activities. Vamos a estar trabajando en dos actividades más entonces. Um, let me share what we're going to do. There is an exercise that we are going to be working with right now. And this is about what we've been studying, okay? So let me see, this is the one, okay? So I'm going to share this document in a few minutes. 
So you can see that we are going to be using would like and would like to. So what you're going to do is to fill in the blanks to complete the sentences using would like or would like to. So for example, we have number one. I'm thirsty. I, a glass of water, please. What is the answer going to be? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta acá? I would like. Would like. I, would okay. like. I would like a glass of water, please. Okay. So, how about number two? I would like. I would like to you. It is a question. Would Just you, look. Uh -huh. Would you? Uh, would you like? Would you like? Would you like? like a break? To a would. Would. No, no, yes, would. Would. Would you like okay. to? Good. So, would you like a break? Yes, we would. Okay. Yes. Good. So that's what we are going to be doing right now. Eso es lo que vamos a estar haciendo ahorita. Entonces, um, just one question. Would you like to continue working with the same people or would you like to change? ¿Quieren seguir trabajando con las mismas personas o cambiamos? The same people. Same people, teacher. Okay, good. So I just sent to you the document. Les acabo de enviar el documento entonces. Y vamos entonces a las salas. Just let me know if you get the document, please. Solo me avisan si lo reciben, pero ya se los envié, okay? Hi, Isabel. Los es would you like la la dos would you like a break would you like would you would you like a break y la respuesta dice yes we would we would yeah. 
la tres. I would, I would I like. Would like to. I would like no, no to. Es, no es tú. Porque el tú tiene que continuar con un verbo. Después está el verbo help. Está el verbo help. Pero dice some help. Es o sí. Si, de vera, vea, no sé. No, no así no. I would no. like to. No, ah, lo decía Linda. Mm. Tiene que, se, que ir seguido del verbo. Seguido de un verbo. Sí, correcto. Y ahí no tengo Pero. un verbo, sino que tengo un quantifier que es some. I would like sí. some help. Me gustaría sí. algo de ayuda con mi tarea. Okay. Okay. Aquí sí va, miren, la número cuatro. I would like to go to the supermarket. Like to. Like to. Like to. En la cuatro. Ajá. Después va el verbo. I would like to go. Go. Ajá. Y la otra es la número 5. Good. Uh, good like, Garden. Good like. Good like. Good like. Good like. Good like. Good pero sería, vaya, en la, sería good like, Tom. Good like, Tom. Good like, Good like, Tom. No sé cómo. Good like, Tom. Y después sería, corregimos si ella dice que está, <ríe> si nos equivocamos. Escribir, sí. no, escribir aquí si no puedo, pero lo que podemos hacer es, solo, yo lo que estoy haciendo. Sí, así, es, así estoy haciendo yo. Yo lo pongo en la, la no. Tell me. Aprovechando, eh, no sé si yo no comprendí bien, pero yo, yo entendí que el Google Light to lo vamos a usar cuando después viene un verbo. Correcto. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. En el número 3, es como you would like. That is right. ¿Por qué? Porque ahí tengo okay, el some. I go, y some no I es come. un verbo, es un quantifier. Ok. okay. Ya la número 4 sería would like to. Ajá. ¿No? Patrick would like to go to the supermarket in his meal. Uh, o sea, esa es la única. Eh, cuando se usa el would like to, es que después va un verbo. Ahí, ahí, esa ahí, es la clave, ahí está la clave, es la clave don Daniel. <risas> right. Ok, I understand. Ok, entonces, la number four is Patrick would like. To go to the supermarket. He needs milk. Luego en el siguiente se sería Wow, Tom, like to come with us. Ajá. Así sería. Wow. Like. Like. ¿Cómo sería en la 5? Would Tom like to come with us? Would Tom like to Tom. Uh -huh. would, would, uh, would Tom Tom would like no come Will Tom would like to come to, with us? 
¿no? Sí, ¿verdad? Puede sí. escribirlo, por favor, don Daniel, al chat. Bueno, ahorita vamos a ver. Ahorita. Do you have any other question? No, teacher, we, we are clear. <laughs> okay, so I'll let you continue working. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Would you like tomorrow? No. What, what, what? would you like to do tomorrow? Ajá, esa es la What, what, what are you, what would you like no. to do? Ajá. Would, uh, what would you like? You like to, to, to do? Like, like to, mm -hmm. to do. To do tomorrow. tomorrow. Who would like some? Uh -huh. La, would be the last one. <sighs> Who would like some candy? Who would like you sold? Would like some candy? Ya la terminaron, compañeros. Sí. ¿Perdón? ¿Ya terminaste? Ah, sí, si gusta se las comparto para ir comparando cómo quedan. Espérame que estoy terminando la última para ver cómo. Ah, va, dele. La primera, ¿cómo está, Julio? Eh, la primera, quiero ver. Pero nos vamos con las que hicimos nosotros, porque la, quizás de las tres en adelante, porque las otras ya las habíamos hecho. O empezamos la número uno. Eh, la dos, tengo duda que no les puse atención. Ah, vaya, la dos me queda. Would you like a break? Yes, we would. Okay. ¿Cómo le queda a usted la, la tercera? La tercera. I, un, I don't understand this. Yo puse. I, I would like to some. No, porque fíjese que, bueno. Negativo. Ajá, no le. No. No le agregamos este, el tú porque no, la, no, no sigue un verbo después de eso. A mí me so, queda... Okay. Me queda... I don't understand this. I like some help with my homework. No sé si les queda, les queda a usted también. Esa, esa pero la tercera comienza como negativa. No se diría como negativa, la tercera, dicen no. ustedes. Uh, I don't Ajá. understand this. No entiendo esto. Entiendo yeah, esto. Ok, ahí termino una idea. Empiezo una nueva y dice, I, some help. Yo. Ajá. I'd like. Ok, I would I like. Would like. What? Me gustaría algo de ayuda. 
Uh -huh. I okay. would like some. Uh, yeah, I would like uh -huh. some help with my homework. Me gustaría algo de ayuda con mi tarea. No sería, no me gustaría algo de ayuda. No, no me gustaría. O sea, yo no, no me gustaría nada. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. ¿Cómo le queda la cuatro, Daniel? La cuatro. Patrick, would like to? Uh -huh. Would like to? To go to the supermarket in his meal. To go. Sí, igual me queda. La quinta me queda. Sí. Would Tom like to come with us? Yes, he would. ¿Así les queda? La cinco. Would Tom like to come with us? Would Tom would like to? Ok, está bien. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Texas, ¿cómo queda? Okay, so we are going to check what you have done. Vamos a revisar entonces lo que hicieron. Uh, let's share screen. Let me see where is it. Here it is. Okay. So we have already talked about number one and number two. We said that number one says I would like. Okay. So let me just write the answer there. Remember that you can use the short form. También pueden usar lo que es la forma corta. So you can say, I, sorry. I'd like a glass of water, please. Then we have two. We said that this is a question. Would you like yes we would okay so how about number three uh number three claudia you are the first one that that is on my screen mm -hmm. would like uh, can you read the complete Sentence, please. Puede leer la, la oración completa, por favor. I, I don't understand this. It could lie. Uh -huh. Some help would lie. Some help with my homework. Okay. Thank you. Reinaldo, number four. Number four. Patrick would like to go to the supermarket. He needs milk. Okay, perfect. Would like to go to the supermarket. Zenaida, I could see that you that you want to participate. Uh, will, will Tom Aquí sí, aquí sí no sé si está bien, pero bueno, yo le voy a decir, would Tom would, would like to come? Ajá. Uh -huh. would, would Tom like to come with us? Yes, he. Yes, he would. Okay, good. Would. Thank you. Let's see, number six. Do I have a volunteer for number six? Me, teacher. Thank you, Juan. Number six. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like a ticket to Melbourne. Okay, perfect. I like a ticket to Melbourne. 
Thank you. Number seven. Hey, teacher. Okay. My friends would like to come to the party the next week. Thank you. Would like to come to the party next week. Thank you. Number eight. Me, teacher. I will do. Uh huh. Would you? Would like to. Uh huh. Would you like to work? on Saturday. No, I wouldn't. Okay, yeah. No, I wouldn't. Perfect. Uh, let's see, number nine. Me? Okay. Would you, would you like? Would you like? Chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream. Thank you. Number 10. Number 10, volunteer. Would you like to? Okay. Would, Would you like to? Okay, good. Would you like to see a movie? No, I see a movie. Wouldn't. Wall. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. Wall in. Perfect. So, how about number 10, 11? Sorry. Number 11. What would you like? Oh, okay. What would you like? to do tomorrow. Excellent. What would you like to do tomorrow? Mm -hmm. And the last one. Who would like Who would like some candy? Uh-huh. And we would. We would. We would. Okay, excellent. Uh, tell me, questions about this exercise? Do all of you have these answers? Todos tienen las mismas respuestas? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect. I'll yes, teacher. Good. Was this exercise easy or was it difficult? Easy. Was easy, teacher. Okay. okay. Perfect. Yeah, it was easy. So the last thing that we are going to do. Uh, let me see. I am going to have Miguel Angel. And we're going to have, let me see, Norma. Okay? Both of you. You are going to create right now a conversation using wood. It doesn't matter. It can be any topic, de cualquier tema, okay? pero usando wood. Okay. Hi, Norma. What would you like? Why would you like to do this day? I. <laughs> Would like um, my breakfast. I would like to. Our. I would like my breakfast. I would like to eat my, my. No. I would like to see a movie. Continue, Miguel. Perfect. Uh, I I like play soccer every day. 
Uh, in, in evening uh, class English prepare and you prepare in class English I would like prepare my English class but I prepare and Saturday, really. Right, very good. Okay, good, thank you. So we're going to have two more people. Let me see. Uh, we're going to have, hmm, we're going to have Juan and Daniel, Daniel and Daniel Luna. Okay, uh, hello Juan. Tell me Daniel. Hello. Hello, hello Juan. Uh, would you like to go to see the game of poker, poker play this night? Yes, I will. Okay, and before and before the game, would you like to eat? Would you like to eat pizza? No, I wouldn't. Okay, with with um, would you like to go to eat a hamburger? Uh, no, I wouldn't. Okay, what do you what do you what do you like? <laughs> what would you like? What, what would what, you like? What would you like eat? Uh, I would like eat vegetables or soup. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, good, perfect. So you can see, I see, poco a poco vamos a ir perdiendo el miedo. So I'm going to check attendance for the last time. Voy a pasar lista la última vez. Sí, sí, tengo una pregunta, tengo una pregunta. Tell me, Nelly. Ahorita solo a uh, este, el, la contracción, o sea, la, la, la forma más correcta de escribirlo, solo se escribe en positivo. And... No se puede escribir en negativo. Vaya, este, la forma afirmativa, permítanme dónde estaba. Ya les comparto pantalla. Acá está. Ok. So we have it here. Um, we have I would like or I wouldn't like. Ok. La forma correcta o la que la mayoría utiliza en negativo, ¿verdad? Es el wouldn't like. I wouldn't like. Pero si es de manera afirmativa, es más común, ¿verdad? Utilizar la forma corta. Es decir, I'd. I'd. I'd like. I'd like to drink tea. I'd like to visit my family. I'd like to eat chocolate. You'd like a cup of tea. You'd like to play soccer. O sea, la única forma que lo vamos a contractar es de esa manera, ¿verdad? El apóstrofo y la D. ¿Ok? Ya en negativo. Y tal vez me estoy adelantando, tal vez me estoy adelantando la pregunta, teacher, pero eh, el could y el, ¿cuál es el otro? ¿También se contraccionan o solo este? El could, me dice usted. No, el, ajá, could, ajá. el could de manera afirmativa, no. Solo de manera negativa. Uh -huh. Es couldn't. Mm. Ok. Ok. El could de manera afirmativa no se puede contratar, al igual que el can, que es otro auxiliar, no se pueden contratar. Ajá, el can. Van a ir 
completo. Okay. La negativa, sí. Couldn't or can't. Ahí sí yo lo puedo contractar. De lo contrario, no. Ok, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Another question. No. Ok, so I'll check attendance right now. Este es un paso la lista ahorita, ¿verdad? Alba Nelly. Present. Ana Delmi Herrera. Presente, teacher. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present. Consuelo del Carmen Rivera. Daniel Antonio Luna. Daniel Enrique Orellana. Giovanni Alexander Pineda. Presente. Isabel Beatriz Joya. Juan Carlos Peña. Juan Osmel Vizcarra. Linda Yvette Márquez. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Presente teacher. Norma Carolina Villeda. Present teacher. Renata Romero. Reinaldo Castro. Present teacher. Zenaida América. Present teacher. Ok. Silvia Suleima. Present teacher. Suleima Verónica. Xiomara del Carmen. Present teacher. Daniel Alexandra. And Jenny Carolina. Ok, so thank you. Vaya, si no hay más preguntas, perdón, nos quedaríamos hasta acá. Solamente quiero informarles que ahora la tutoría le corresponde a Renata Romero. Sin embargo, ella no se encuentra acá. No sé si alguien quiere ocupar ese espacio de los que me hacen falta o si alguien más quiere, quiere esos 10 minutos. Mi teacher. Okay, perfect. So that's going to be all for today. Eso sería entonces todo por ahora. Thank you so much for coming and okay. see you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye. 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 Eh, teacher. Okay, permítame, denme solo unos segundos. Vale, hoy sí, dígame. Eh, yo ya había ocupado mis 10 minutos. Eh, no, no sé si siempre sí, se puede, aplica. Se puede, no hay problema. Ok, eh, la duda que yo tengo es eh, respecto al tema de hoy, ¿verdad? Ajá. Eh, el would like y el would like to ya en las preguntas si sí lo, lo sé relacionar pero pero al momento de de ocuparlo en digamos como puso en la primera pantalla Bye. Vamos a... el would like solo lo puedo ocupar en I you no en la otra la anterior En esa, ajá. El good like solo lo puedo ocupar en I you he. No, se puede utilizar con todos. I you he she. Con todos. Ah, ok. Esa es, es, es mi duda más que todo. Vaya, sí, el would like o would like to se utiliza con todos los pronombres personales. Acá no hay excepción. La diferencia... Okay. Está en la Allí no hay de he, she, it, ni nada. No, para nada. Aquí no existe si es tercera persona o que si es singular o que si es plural. Para todos, absolutamente okay. todos, es el mismo. Ahora bien, la diferencia del would like 
Either would like to, es la siguiente. Si usted logra ver acá, tengo lo que es a cup of tea. Una taza de té. En cambio, acá, uh -huh. would like to drink. Tengo lo que es un verbo. Ok. Acá tengo lo que es un okay. verbo. Y acá tengo lo que es un sustantivo. Un sustantivo. Sí. El would like se va a utilizar con sustantivos. Y el would like to se va a utilizar con lo que son verbos. Ok. Ok. Would like okay. to see. Would like to sleep, would like to eat, would like to do, would like to exercise, y así sucesivamente. En cambio acá, tengo lo que es un nombre o un sustituto. I would like chocolate, me gustaría chocolate. I would like coffee, me gustaría café. I would like... Um, What? ¿Es necesario to... usar el sustantivo? En ese caso sí, porque no llevo el tú. Si usted se fija... No puedo que... decir... No uh -huh. puedo decir I would like... I would like te. Tengo que usar el sustantivo. Ah, I would like tea. Sí se puede, porque tea es un sustantivo también. I would like... Ah, ok. Ok. okay. No ok. Sé. ¿Y eso está un poco más claro? Sí, la verdad que sí, teacher. Ok. Esa era mi, mi inquietud más que todo. Ajá. Ok. Perfecto. Vaya, ¿y con lo que hemos visto anteriormente? Pues, por el momento no, teacher. Eh, trato de repasar y, y igual la tarea me sirve para evacuar dudas, inquietudes, pero... Por el momento solo esa era mi, mi inquietud. Ah, ok. Para no quitarle más tiempo. Uh -huh. Ah, pues como son 10 minutos, ¿verdad? Yeah, sorry. No, no hay problema, teacher. Igual yo ya los había ocupado. Eh, solamente esa era mi inquietud. El would like to tiene que ir seguido de un verbo. Y el would like tiene que ir seguido de un... Sujeto, un sustantivo, ¿verdad? Correcto, así es. Ok, y la pregunta anterior ya se la había hecho, que lo podemos ocupar ya sea para cosas buenas o cosas malas. El would like. Sí. El would like to. Yeah, so for example, the one you said, I would like to, to, to break my to, computer screen. Uh, you broke a window, window broke. I would like to break. Ah, pero ahí hay otra pregunta. Ahí hay otra pregunta. Eh, I would like, si yo digo yo quiero, I would like eh, broken window o window broker. No. Este, ahí recuerde que el verbo tiene que ir en su forma normal. Ok. Y ahí usted me ah, okay. está usando un verbo en participio, si no me equivoco, con el pasado. Yo le digo, I'd, de la forma corta, like to like. break. Ah, ok. Gustaría, Aunque sea el verbo to be, ok. No, break. Este es el verbo normal. Ah, ok. I'd like to break the window. Oops, sorry. Window. Me gustaría. Ok ver la ventana, pero si usted dice que le gustaría y, cambiar la uh -huh. ventana rota, ahí sí es, I'd like to change the broken, broken window, ok, ajá, eso era más que todo lo que le quería preguntar. Sí, pero aquí ya el... Tengo que usar el verbo que sería change. Si vamos a cambiar, ¿verdad? Si vamos a cambiar la ventana rota. Pero si usted lo que quiere es romperla, vamos a usar el verbo break. El verbo va a ir en su forma break. normal. Ok. Y si quiero utilizarlo, digamos, eh, en negativo, o sea, yo no quisiera, eh, ocupo el would not like. Would not like. Ok. 
I wouldn't. Utilizo. Ah, no, oh, utilizo el ajá. Uh -huh. I, I would. wouldn't like to, I wouldn't like to travel, for example, a lot. No me gustaría viajar mucho. Okay. Oh, I okay. wouldn't like okay. to break the window. No me gustaría romper la ventana. Okay. I use la forma. Okay. Okay. Y este eh, wooden igual lo puedo ocupar para I, you, he, she, we, they. Correcto. Es para todos. Ok. Para todos. Aquí no hay distinción. No, aquí no. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Anything else? ¿Algo mm. más? No, teacher. No, solamente. Muchas Bye. gracias. A usted, Miguel. So thank you, ya, so ya me quedó claro. Bye. Perfecto. Ok, teacher. Pase buenas noches y nos vemos mañana. Thank you. Likewise. See you tomorrow. Bye.